Good morning. Can you see that? <gasps> That's the water. Yes, we're camping again um, on the Gold Coast. I don't know what that means to anybody, but it's beautiful here. Yeah, so I thought I'd do a bit of a reading blog while we're here. So I have Go and Another to Finish. And look how close I am. And it's so great that I get to finish this book here. But anyway, just starting off the reading vlog by the water. It's so nice. I'm gonna sit in my little chair and read something. It's so good. Okay, I'll um, talk to you when I finish this. I'm probably 40 pages off. Very excited. finished this book I'm not going to talk too much about it because um, I need to this is part of the Simon Savage's top reads list that I'm working through but um, let's just say I've been crying for about I don't know 10 minutes and when I checked in with my buddy Bear from Buried Books I had to I got choked up and had to stop a couple of times so very emotionally driven the writing is amazing and I want to read everything this woman has ever read so that's it we'll talk about it more later um but I need to go for a swim now and wash away the emotions of this book before I start another one that's going to make me a little emotional I think anyway I'm gonna go swimming up to there okay I've been for my swim it is beautiful actually I probably need to keep an eye on my son I'll show you. That's him floating around in that little orange dingy thing. <laughs> this weekend is a long weekend here in Australia. Um, it's a hard one for me to talk about because it's a shitty long weekend. Officially, it is to celebrate Australia Day. But the date of the 26th of January is the date that I think it was Governor Arthur. I don't know his name, but he raised the Union Jack on Sydney Cove and you know the result of that was the total demise of a culture and mass murder of a culture and it's not something that I support so we as a family have decided that we don't engage in the celebrations but it really is around us a lot. So in my way of being allies with our First Nations people on especially on today I wanted to reflect that in my reading so I'm going to pick up um, a work by a Indigenous author. This is Melissa Lukashenko's book. It's an earlier work. She got a lot of um, acclaim for her book Too Much Lip last year. So um, I read that and enjoyed it. And this is um, one that people say I will enjoy more. Um, so today especially I wanted to pick up an own voices book and show, you know, that I support the First Nations culture and why today should be named Invasion Day, not Australia Day. I know everybody can have their own opinions and lots of people are choosing to celebrate and that's entirely up to them, but for us and our family, we don't. So this is the way that I'm going to show that today. So I'm excited. This is, um, Mullumbimby is a place um, in northern New South Wales. I've been to heaps of times. It's, you know, this hub of um, a sort of alternative community. So this is a book about a woman who, yeah, gets, has a divorce and then uses that money to buy a farm in Mullumbimby, I guess, or near Mullumbimby, and um, to try and connect to the land. Um, she is an Indigenous woman. And, yeah, what this is like the story of what happens, you know, the white neighbours, the teenage daughter going through cultural issues, um, native title chats in here as well. So, yeah, excited to open it up and give it a read. So... I'll let you know how I'm going. It'd be nice if I could sit and read a whole book in one day, wouldn't it? But, you know, there's kids to entertain. Oh, it has a glossary in the back with um, Bundjalung and Yagamba languages are used in this book. Oh, how cool. And it, it has a glossary of the, the indigenous word that is used to the English word. Oh, I'm loving that. 
um, yeah, it's only 290 pages, so hopefully I can get this um, read on this long weekend, especially that would make me happy. Okay, just gonna sit and read by the water again. I'm very, very blessed to be here. I should probably keep an eye on that orange boat too. Much later, I'm doing the washing up and cooking some burgers. It's a late lunch, I think, is what's happening now. Um, I've just been like hanging out and resting and swimming with the kids and that's all. So no reading's gotten done. I thought I'd check in. It's um, it's a really busy day, so there's lots of people around. So this isn't really a relaxing beach kind of reading holiday. There's just so much going on, so many people around. You know, like got to watch the kids all the time kind of thing. So that's okay. So when I read some more, I'll let you know. We've got some people coming over that we haven't seen in ages to hang out for the afternoon. So might be tomorrow. <laughs> um, I've read probably 20 pages of Mullen Bimby and it started out really intriguing and interesting. And the interchangeable use of the language, the English with the traditional language is really cool. And I find myself using glossary and enjoying that a lot. So it started off really promising. Fingers crossed it keeps going. Where is it even? Oh, it's under the pile of stuff. There it is. That shows, kind of sums up my day of reading. <laughs> yeah, I'll just get these schnitzel burgers made. Can you sympathize with me when you buy an avocado for $2.50, $3 and you open it up and it's brown, like brown, and it's got that smell about it and there goes three dollars it's the most unpredictable fruit and it drives me insane oh. <sighs> and keep trucking on with these burgers hi this is the last day of our camping trip yesterday afternoon was just lots of friends and swimming and catching up with people we haven't seen for ages so it was lovely um, and today it's nearly lunch but we've played cricket on the beach and swam and done all the things and now the boys are hiring some strike thing and riding around the park so we can take a breath I am on page 44 that's all of Mullum Bimbi I'm really enjoying it I'm really happy to be reading it on this weekend especially and like we talked about yesterday, but it's making me feel a bit more connected to First Nation struggle um, and, you know, educating myself about that, which I think is super duper important. Anyway, that's been nice. So here I am again. That's my view. So lucky, aren't I? And yeah, I'm going to take this next half an hour while they're riding tracks around the park to get a bit of reading done. I don't think I've told you guys yet that Patty and I yeah, we're reading Patty's first Agatha Christie together. So Patty picked this out of the pile. It's the murder of Roger Ackroyd. And we're like, I don't know, we're only 50 pages or so and we just read a chapter every now and then. But it's been really fun. It's been really interesting reading it and thinking about, you know, what Patty thinks about it and hearing his thoughts. And yeah, so this is the book we're reading together. I just wanted to let you know that. I need to work my way through my pile of Agatha Christie's. Maybe we'll do that together, Patty Cook. You like it, huh? It's a lot of fun. We need to find out what happened to Roger. Okay, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, we're just hanging out. <laughs> They're doing cards. Patty's about to listen to the audiobook, and I'm gonna go and read my book. Just lazy caravanning life. I'd update you on where I'm at. It's it's late now. It's 
dinner and dessert time. <laughs> um, I got to page 97. So this is a story about Jo and Jo is an indigenous woman who has bought a farm and sees it as claiming back the land that was taken from her ancestors. And so she's working on creating the farm. She has a teenage daughter who's a pain in the butt, standard teenage daughter stuff. Um, she has a group of like a little community of friends, some indigenous, some not, and she's met this guy and I just see trouble in her future for this. But anyway, what I'm liking about this is it's too much lip was really, the, the language used was really, uh, really colloquial, which is fine. This is presented the language, like the First Nations language in a kind of a different way. So it uses um, different indigenous words throughout, you know, dialogue. And um, when we're listening to Joe's thoughts and like I said before, I'm having fun checking that out. And I think this is a more successful way to do it for me. Um, it's not as, rough's the wrong word. It's not as, it's not as, no, I found too much lip to be real, like full of curse words, like just full in the dialogue, which I don't think represented Indigenous voices as well as I think this does. I don't know. I'm always very concerned that I will say the wrong thing because I certainly don't want to offend anyone. I'm just trying to point out that I am enjoying the dialogue in this more than in Melissa Lukashenko's latest one, Too Much Lip. That's all. Um, I'm also enjoying the story a lot more, which is, which is really great, actually. Um, so that's really all I've got to say. Um, this is our last night here and this place is a mess and I've got to pack it up in the morning and drive home. So I might get a little bit more red tonight. We're going to stream the tennis because Kyrgios, the Australian, is playing Rafa Nadal and it would be wonderful if an Australian could beat him at the Australian Open. So we're going to do that and put a screen on for the first time in three days, which is just, you know, it's been lovely not having screens around, I can tell you that. You want to see the sunset? Ah, that's the sun setting over the water. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful. So yeah, might just sit out here and do some more reading. But that's my update on this book and on our last day of camping. And yes, I got totally sunburnt. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, that's really it. I'll chat to you later. Average for the tournament, 209 for Kyrgios. Obviously we're home. I'm in my green chair. I just finished reading our nightly chapter of Agatha. More clues, more things happening. Uh, I think Perot comes into the picture in the next chapter, so Patty and I are excited about that. Um, yeah, and I crocheted my thing. I have oh, three granny squares now for the three books I finished because I finished Girl on Another, so I had to do a crochet square. Um, and yeah, now I'm exhausted and ready for bed. So I think I'm going to climb into bed with Mom Bimby and catch up on some YouTube that I missed out on while we were camping. Um, but yeah, I think I'll keep this vlog going until I finish Mom Bimby. So let's do that, shall we? I love camping. I do, but... I have to sleep next to a small child when we camp in a quite a tiny bed space. So having this lovely king size bed to fall into, oh, where I can stretch, oh, it does feel like heaven. <laughs> I think I need something to nibble on though now that I've hopped into bed. I might go and make myself some. I got this delicious sourdough fruit toast.
might do that and then keep reading. Boxes, my first for the year. Only another 5,000 more of these to make this year, but I did it. Ugh. You ask, oh gosh, look at that mess I have to clean up. You ask any parent the best thing about school holidays, and they will say, no lunch boxes, that's for sure. It's the first day of school today. The boys are really super duper excited, which is great. Um, but I just have to work through the excitement because we've probably got another hour to go and everybody is ready to leave. Get your lunchbox? Yep. Wish me luck for the next hour of taming excitement before we have to leave. Okay, I'll talk to you later on. Off to school! Next day! Update on the kids' first day of school. Tick, it went fine. Everybody was happy, nobody needed me to stay, that was kind of it. So, I'm going to reward myself with some book shopping. <laughs> I just kind of missed doing the school drop off and then going book shopping and so I'm going to do it now. That's all. That man next to me in the car is looking at me videoing myself, isn't he? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Got two bags. That one's full of cookbooks, so I can't wait for that. I'll show you my find. There's heaps in here. Oh my gosh. But look. Look what I got. This it came out last year. Lee Sales is a political journalist, but this is her chat about what happens. You know, she interviews a lot of people that have you know, lose someone or something tragic happens to them and talks about the lead up to that day and their resilience afterwards. It's meant to be amazing. I've been wanting to read it for so long and I found it on the shelves. It was a winner. So $12, there we go. Smashed it. <laughs> it makes that big Lifeline book fest that I went to that was just full on look pretty tame. I know there were lots of collectibles and lots of amazing books there, but I just got some good reading and some good cookbooks. You know, you fill a bag for six bucks, you just can't go wrong. What I say. Okay, I need to go home and work. <laughs> need to start my day. But that was nice to do that routine of, you know, taking the boys shopping, taking the boys to school and doing some book shopping. I enjoy doing that once a week. Once a week. That's all I can do. Just just more collecting, which I love. I just have to stop and get beef stock. But I found, look at this. This is shampoo and conditioner, which I needed, but it's in an aluminium container, which can be recycled. How cool is that? I'm into the no plastic thing, yeah? And yeah, I was so excited to see this stuff. And they're on special, so hopefully the shampoo and conditioner are good because it's ticking all the other boxes. <laughs> okay, now I'm going home to do some work. Hi, I have finished my work, kind of. I've finished the important parts of my work and I have maybe an hour to go before I have to get, collect children. So I'm going to read. In that time, I do need to cook them something for afternoon tea, but reading can happen while I do that. So yes, sneaking in the little moments where I can. I was up in the middle of the night last night and I read a little bit, not much, to try and get myself back to sleep. There's a fly. Oh, so annoying. Oh, I don't like flies. Uh, right, so I'm on page 138. So it's sort of nearly halfway through. I'm enjoying it. It's good still. I just would like to finish this book so I can finish this vlog. It's, it's the life of a reading vlogger. Finish the book so you can finish the vlog. Otherwise vlogs go on for hours. <laughs> Hi 
hopefully you'll be able to hear me I've just dog marked the page but in this book one of the characters two boy Joe's lover is fighting a native title case for the land that they're all living on and you know he's he's going to court and he's getting death threats and he's doing all the things and Joe's getting quite impatient with the whole situation and then he just stopped and explained to her what it meant to fight for the land and why he was doing it and it was the most powerful passage I've read in such a long time oh that's not true because I just read Girl of Matter but it was really um, amazing how he explained um, native title search and why like and the importance about getting land back for the First Nations people and talking about having their elders rest and and he said um, and when we win it back then the old people might show us what we've lost so there's this whole whole hope that if he wins back this land then he can gain some real connection to culture and it was just this amazing passage and I've never heard anybody explain that to me so Thank you Two Boy and Melissa Lukashenko for doing that. Anyway, just thought I'd update you on that one. How was cricket training? Good. Did she find a beautiful feather? Oh. It's laying on the ground. I think it's from Magpie because there's black on it. Ah, it's beautiful. Good morning, good morning. Uh, this is what just happened. My husband's alarm went off at 3.30 because he has to go to work. And then I just I'll just turn on booktube and you know, somebody can put me to sleep. That's not being mean, but I listen to, to booktube videos and, and fall off to sleep. It's a problem and I need to rectify it. But anyway, and then there was this list of my some of my favorite booktubers with Memento Mori readathon bingo card announcement to celebrate adam from memento mori's birthday and it was so hilarious to watch and this is something that sounds so horrible that adam will absolutely hate and i just laughed and it woke me up so that's where i am it's now for something i just got up and made myself a cup of tea and stacked the pillows up behind me and I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to read. I really would love to fall back to sleep. But we will see how that goes. Anyway, instead of book two putting me to sleep, it woke me up. Because I laughed and laughed and laughed. So maybe I'll get some good reading done before the kidlets wake up. Maybe, hopefully, I'll read a couple of pages. And have my cup of tea and go back to sleep. The suspense. <laughs> Just to let you know, I went down another rabbit hole. Um, I haven't read a thing because on the first page that I started to read, they talked about dodging, they're going to Byron Bay and they were dodging the Writers' Festival traffic. And Byron Bay Writers' Festival is something I've always wanted to go to. Byron Bay's a gorgeous, gorgeous place and it's three hours away and um, it's on the beach and it's amazing and I think the Writers Festival would be amazing too so then I just went down this rabbit hole of when's the 2020 Writers Festival where is it at how do I get there where can I stay looking up accommodation yeah that's what I've been doing I was like just insanity I'm just going down all of these places that like don't need to be gone down right now it's five o'clock in the morning like, honestly calm down <laughs> So I just said that to myself and I put the bloody Google search on hold and now I'm going to pick up my book and actually read it, which is the point of waking up early, is it not? Okay, let's try again. Fingers crossed there's no more bloody rabbit holes. So update is I fell back to sleep. Slept in till 8 or 8. <laughs> my son came in, shook me at 8 o'clock, 8.08. And said, come on, we gotta go to school. So the last the half an hour has been quick shower, quick lunch making, and now we're off to school. And these lovely children took care of themselves. There's another one. Hey. They didn't make their beds though. All bless their rooms. Oopsies. 
didn't have mum to remind them to do that. So now we need to do school drop off. I did get some more of my book read. I think I'm up to page 200 or something, which is, was really good. It was really nice. Anyway, what a morning so far. What's the day going to bring? Hi, in an interesting turn of events, my car needed to be serviced today. My husband is in Brisbane, so I dropped my car off and walked to a cafe. So I'm here, working, going to say bowl. I'm set up for the day. And I have Mullen Bimby in my bag, don't worry. Hopefully I'll get a chance to read, maybe over lunch. So yeah, it's worked out to be a bit of a different day, I like it. Check this out. Ooh, ooh. If you uh, recognise the park, yes, I'm in the same spot as yesterday. It's supposed to be cricket training on for the little one today, but we don't really know. So we're just hanging out in the car park for another 10 minutes to see if it's on because I'm not an organised parent. That's why. Uh, I got nothing red today. I had a great day in the cafe, picked my car up. Did work, 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 work until I picked the kids up and now I'm here. So that's it. My plan is if this isn't on to go home and do all of the jobs and then have to shower and wash away the day and read and read. I would love to finish Mel and Bimby and I'm only about 80 pages off. So there, that's the that's a catch up session. This is my Thursday. Oh, the week has gotten away from me, that's for sure. I didn't vlog this process, but I just made some chai for the boys to take to school. And they're drinking it now over there. Chai is my happy place. It always has been. I had a cup today at a delicious cafe. Um, and when we were traveling, I had a market store where I stirred big pots of chai and sold cups of chai. And it just makes me feel happy when I make a batch of chai with all of these, oh, you can't see them, it just looks like poo, but all of the delicious spices in it and then the boys love it and, and want to take it to school. It just warms my heart like a warm cup of chai. Anyway, that was just the afternoon's adventures. I'm talking, made dinner, cleaned, kind of cleaned. Now I'm playing Skipbo and then we'll get to reading. Okay. What's this for? It's nine o'clock on the dot. Everyone's asleep, I think. I think there still might be a big one awake. But I made it to my green chair. I did the cards. Uh, Patty and I read our chapter of Agatha. This one, the murder of Roger Ackroyd. We're kind of you know, 80 pages in. It's really exciting reading it, I think. So excited every time a clue's dropped. So it, it makes the um, yeah the experience more enjoyable. I love it. Anyway, I'm here. I'm here. I've got booktube to watch and this to read, and let's see how long I last. Nine o'clock. Can you hear that wind? The wind's going nuts tonight again. Okay, I'm gonna read. <laughs> I've read 10 pages and I'm falling asleep. It's not going to be a big reading night at all. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to get up early and then I'm going to finish this damn book. Sorry, this vlog's going to have to go on for another day. <laughs> it's going to be the longest vlog in history of one book. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, hello. It's, I'm making lunch. Can you see me with all the steam? It's Saturday lunchtime. Yesterday was a blur. So, no reading. Today, visitors are coming. My sister-in-law. And so, that will be wonderful. But, again, 
narrating. <laughs> so this will be the longest vlog in history. I also keep forgetting to take you with me. Even though I didn't go anywhere yesterday. Oh, I did. I went for lunch with my brother. I went to the markets this morning and they were beautiful. And you would have loved to have come with me, I'm sure. And I just left you at home. Sorry about that. But know that I got wonderful. Right now I'm cooking beautiful organic freshly grown potatoes. I've got a lovely salad for lunch. And all of the things. So I had a wonderful time at the markets. But... You don't know that because I didn't take you. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is just a quick check-in before the hordes arrive home and it's all systems go. There are two children coming. So the quietness will not be here until maybe tomorrow afternoon. So let's chat then, shall we? Sorry, guys. I will finish that book very soon. I'm very keen to get back to it. But until then... <laughs> spot for me to sit let me tell you <laughs> hi it's i don't know many many days later um it's tuesday and i still haven't finished this book i haven't read anything else the only thing i've been reading to patty is the murder of roger Ackroyd. i think we're about halfway through now and he loves it so we read that every night but i mean honest it's just it's just been busy and I need to really focus because I've got buddy read commitments coming out of my ears. <laughs> so I read a bit this morning and then we went and played tennis, which we've done for a couple of mornings now because that's Patty's new obsession, which as a mother I support. I have 27 pages of this left to go. So I have to work today and I'm going to read until my workmate shows up and hopefully that will be after the 27 pages then we can wrap this book up and wrap this vlog up and move on i need to move on i'm still loving it so that's good see ya see ya on the other side of 27 pages here we go i did it hooray <laughs> oh. and what a what a oh i gotta sit, hang on what a powerful powerful story I loved it. What I loved about it was insight and reading an Indigenous author and reading the journey that this Indigenous woman and her daughter and her family went through is amazing. It's just amazing. I had no idea about any of it. Um, very, very insightful. There's lots of talk about uh, spiritual connection to land and about when things are revealed, people being scared of that and not knowing what to do with it. The lack of elders around to help facilitate, um, you know, the, the spiritual connection that is, is definitely inside of people. Um, and so then fear comes into it. Also the lack of understanding by white people. So then when you need to kind of use it as an explanation for things that are happening, it gets looked at with disbelief. I really loved the chat about why having control of the land is so important and the kind of need to buy back the land or get the land back to be under Indigenous control means so much spiritually to people. I kind of, you know, had an inkling about all that stuff, but this just gave me the perspective around it all. I, this book's really, really good. 
the the pacing of the book was unbelievable. I really enjoyed the creation of angst around things, but at the right times, um, the kind of explanations about what was going on and, and the context, the spirituality and all that sort of stuff was not cheesy or cheap in any way. It was real. And I absolutely got so much from this book. Um, I would rate it five stars every day of the week. I enjoyed it. If you would like to read First Nations authors um, and would like to kind of open up ideas around uh, Indigenous connection to land and spirit, the spirituality that comes with that and, and learn those things, then this is absolutely a fantastic resource. I adored it. Five stars. Loved it. So glad I picked it up. And so glad that um, I finally finished it. <laughs> I would have loved to have sit with this book all the time. Don't get me wrong. It's just life. It gets in the way, right? So there we go. Hooray. I'm glad that this whole long vlog didn't result in... Uh, it was okay. This is a great book. Mullumbimby, Melissa Lukashenko. I would highly recommend. Okay, guys, that's it. Oh, I'd like to sit in this green chair all day, but now I have to go to work. Thanks for hanging out with me for the longest vlog in history. So sorry that it dragged out, but it's just the way the last week has gone for me. Um, I'm going to pick up a new book tonight, fingers crossed. So I'll see you when I do that. I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.